Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about natural nootropics. Natural nootropics have been used throughout the centuries by many different cultures and civilizations. Um, there's way too many for me to touch on in this video here, so I will try to touch on a lot more, plus go into more detail um, in the related blog article. The first one we'll talk about will be caffeine. Caffeine is the most widely known and used nootropic out there. Um, it's associated with increased alertness, attention, and also it's shown to have a positive effect on your memory. But it also can have some negative side effects. These side effects could be things like jittery, feeling, racing heart, things like that. So when supplementing with caffeine, most people use something called L-theanine. L-theanine is something normally found in tea, and it can help balance out the uh, negative effects of coffee and also add to the good effects. It's been shown to have an increased usage with your attention and also it's shown to help your brain switch over into an alpha wave pattern, which is often associated with um, relaxed attention. So this can be good when you're trying to learn new things or focus on something. Something else I use pretty much every day is choline. Choline is found in a bunch of different supplements and sources. Um, acetylcholine, Alpha GPC, just to name a few. You can. There's a lot more out there. Um, choline has been shown to enhance your growth hormones, which is good for bodybuilders, people that work out a lot, that's in, trying to increase their muscle mass. But it's also been shown to have benefits for age-related memory loss, attention, focus, um, help with thinking and learning. So I, I always supplement with this because it also works synergistically with a lot of different nootropics, specifically um, the racetams that we'll talk about in one of the next videos. Another one I use almost pretty much daily would be lion's mane mushroom. Um, it comes from Eastern cultures. It grows usually in the shape of a brain. Um, it's called lion's mane because it's kind of got a stringy hair-like outer texture. Um, it's been shown to protect against cognitive decline. It stimulates myelination, which is the production of the myelin sheath, which is the protective layer around your neurons. There's also some evidence that shows that it can boost neural regrowth after a crushing injury, um, head trauma, car accident, get hit over the head, something like that. And it also can help with anxiety and boost your mood. And there's also been a few studies that have shown that it can help inhibit weight gain. So if you're trying to lose weight, this might be something else to look at. Another thing that's widely known and used, been used for a long, long time, would be ginkgo biloba. It supports short-term memory and free recall of memories, so it can help you, you know, if you're somebody that stumbles with words, stumbling, getting them out of your head, this could be a great benefit for you. They've got some neuroprotective qualities. It's also stress reducing and a mood booster. And it can also reduce the effects of oxidative damage. Another one I like, and it's been used quite a lot, would be Siberian ginseng. Um, Siberian ginseng increases norepinephrine and the dopamine in your brain. It helps with your ability to focus, um, energy production, it can reduce inflammation, and it also boosts your immune system. It can help you reduce blood glucose levels, so it can prom also promote weight loss. 
Um, another one that hasn't been used for a real long time, but it's starting to be used a lot more, would be artichoke extract. Um, artichoke extract is used, one of the main things in a very popular nootropic stack called Celtep. Um, it's been shown to relieve indigestion, relieve heartburn, um, helps with memory retention, and also increases your focus and your attention span. Um, another one that I like quite a bit, um, I tend to take it if I'm not going to be doing a lot of physical stuff because sometimes it, it can add a little fatigue to your physical body. Other times I take it, you know, late in the evening if I've got to do some writing. So that way, if it does start to give me some of those f fatigue um, effects, then, you know, I'll be going to bed soon so it won't really bother me that much. And that's going to be Bacopa. Bacopa is a plant that's been used for thousands of years. Um, it's a great cognitive enhancer. I recommend it to a lot of people. And it's been shown to help with memory enhancement, reduce your anxiety and stress, help with mood disorders, and also people that get real anxious, you know, around a crowd of people um, or speaking in front of people, it's been shown to have great benefits for those people. It's also neuroprotective and has been shown to reduce the effects of oxidative stress. These are just a few of these, th few of the natural nootropics that I use. If you'd like to learn more about these or other things, check out the related blog post below. Thanks. <laughs>